Hello, and thank you for taking the time to learn about calcium oxalate kidney stones and the role that diet plays in preventing stone formation. We hope this video will help you better understand what type of stone you may have, what causes kidney stones to form, and how simple changes to your diet can help you prevent more kidney stones from forming. Let's begin with, what are kidney stones? Kidney stones are made from crystals that form in your kidney. Most stones are made up of calcium. There are two kinds of calcium stones, calcium oxalate and calcium phosphate. This video will focus on calcium oxalate stones. There are many causes of kidney stone formation. In this video, we talk about how diet and nutrition can help lower your risk of getting calcium oxalate kidney stones. There are six main steps you can take to prevent making stones. Let's begin with the first goal. The best way to lower your risk of kidney stones is to drink lots of fluid. Crystals are less likely to form in urine that is not concentrated. Producing extra urine will help flush out small crystals before they form into larger stones. Aim to drink two to three liters which is eight to 12 cups of fluid each day. Water should make up at least half of the fluid you drink. Other drinks such as milk, coffee, tea, and juice count towards your fluid intake. Try to avoid having more than one serving of fruit juice or black tea each day. Avoid chocolate milk, hot chocolate, and almond milk and avoid carrot juice and cranberry juice, as these may increase your risk of forming stones. The goal is to produce two liters of urine per day. You can check to make sure your urine is pale in color. Drink more water on hot days and when you are physically active. You need additional fluids if you have a fever, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Talk to your doctor or dietitian if you've been told to restrict fluids. Adding lemon to your water increases citrate in your urine, which can lower your risk of forming stones. Citrate is made up from citric acid and citrate binds with calcium in the urine. This prevents calcium from sticking to other compounds such as oxalate. You can add half a cup of lemon juice in two liters of water or one tablespoon of lemon juice per cup of water. Watch out if you have stomach ulcers and talk to your doctor about alternatives. The next tip is to limit sodium in your diet to less than 2000 milligrams. That's less than one teaspoon per day. Salt is made up of sodium and chloride your body only needs a small amount of sodium per day. If you eat a lot of salt or sodium in foods, the amount of calcium in your urine increases, which increases your risk of forming kidney stones. Here are some tips to have less salt in your diet. Choose less processed, instant, pre-made and canned foods. A majority of the salt you eat is from processed foods, such as canned and pickled or preserved foods, deli meats, and high salt cheeses like feta cheese, blue cheese, or Kraft singles, frozen meals, powdered flavorings in soups or broths. Limit fast food and ask the chef at the restaurant to prepare your food without adding salt. Use very little or no salt when cooking or seasoning food. And season foods with different herbs and spices, lemon juice, or Mrs. Dash instead of salt. Read food labels to help you choose foods lower in sodium. Foods that have a daily value of for sodium of 5% or less are low in sodium. Our next tip is eat less protein from animal foods. If you have kidney stones, do not go on a high protein diet. The protein that affects your kidney stones is all protein from animal flesh, including poultry, red meat, fish, game meats, 
eggs, and organ meats. Limit meat, fish, poultry, and eggs to two servings a day. One serving is 2.5 ounces or 75 grams. This is the size of one deck of cards. Choose vegetarian sources of protein instead of meat, such as lentils, beans, or legumes. Next, we will talk about oxalates. If your oxalate levels are higher than normal, you could benefit from an oxalate restriction in your diet. Oxalates are found naturally in very healthy foods, such as certain fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, and whole grains. For this reason, it is important to not follow an extremely low oxalate diet. Instead, try to choose low oxalate foods more often and have smaller portions of high oxalate foods. High oxalate foods include almonds, beets, buckwheat, cocoa powder, chocolate, okra, oranges, potatoes, spinach, dates, figs, raspberries, rhubarb, walnuts, white beans, and quinoa. Another way to lower oxalate levels in your urine is to eat more dairy foods and eat dairy with meals. Getting enough calcium in your diet can help lower oxalate levels and prevent kidney stones. How does eating foods high in calcium reduce calcium-based kidney stones? Calcium joins with oxalate as you digest food, making it harder for your body to take in the oxalate. Eating dairy products with meals can help to lower oxalate levels in your urine. People who eat three servings of dairy products per day have almost half as many kidney stones as those who do not eat dairy products. Some examples of a serving of dairy include one cup, eight ounces or 250 milliliters of milk, three quarter cup, six ounces or 175 grams of plain yogurt, 50 grams or 1.5 ounces, approximately one inch cube of low salt cheese, if you cannot have dairy, you can choose soy milk and rice beverage. If you are lactose intolerant, choose lactose-free dairy products. You can also use dairy products made with sheep milk or goat milk, as these are lower in lactose. It is better to eat foods high in calcium instead of taking calcium supplements. Talk to the nephrologist or dietitian if you are taking a calcium supplement. Avoid taking calcium and vitamin D supplements together as it increases how much calcium is absorbed in your intestines and can increase your risk of kidney stone formation. Avoid vitamin C supplements or excess dose in a multivitamin as vitamin C is metabolized into a form of oxalate and increases oxalate in your urine. Some studies have shown an increased risk of stone formation in people who are overweight. Weight loss may help prevent stones if you are overweight. Measure your waist circumference in line with your belly button. For men, a waist circumference of over 102 centimeters or 40 inches is high risk. For women, a waist circumference of over 88 centimeters or 35 inches is high risk. Here's a summary of our diet and nutrition goals for kidney stone formation for calcium oxalate kidney stones. One, drink more than 2.5 liters of water per day, ideally with lemon juice added. Two, Eat less salt, ideally less than 2,000 milligrams of sodium per day. Three, eat less protein from animal foods. Four, choose low oxalate foods more often and have smaller portions of high oxalate foods. 
five, have one serving of dairy with meals. Six, talk to your doctor about any supplements you are taking. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about what was discussed in this video, please contact us or check out our website for more information.